We're going to look today, though, at a secret society, an elite group of men. I believe they have grabbed hold of much of the finance, the commerce, the uh, political uh, rulerships of this world today, and they even have their uh, grasp, almost a stranglehold, on most of the religious groups of today and the religions, including Christianity, unfortunately. These are men of the Illuminati. They are Jewish. I receive a, a newspaper called the Jerusalem Post, and I'd like to show you, if I could, a, an article. In fact, I've made a copy of it, so it'd be a little bit easier to show here on um, um, television. This is an advertisement in the Jerusalem Post newspaper of November 1994. Let me try to hold that a little straight here for you. Notice the, the sign at the top is the Grand Lodge of the State of Israel logo. This ad says, The Grand Lodge of the State of Israel of ancient, free, and accepted Masons. And it's addressed to the Masons of Peace. Who are they? Well, the Honorable Yitzhak Rabin, Prime Minister of Israel, His Majesty King Hussein of Jordan, and the Honorable Bill Clinton of the United States. It says, with warm fraternal congratulations on the signing of the peace agreement between Israel and Jordan. And it's signed by Ephraim Fuchs, President of the Israel Order of Masons. Here we have an admission. He's actually inviting them when they came over for the, the peace, uh, for, for a talk with, there was a big Masonic Gaylor extravaganza to be held, and he welcomed Rabin, Hussein, and Clinton. Now remember, Rabin, of course, was the Prime Minister of Israel, a Jew. But King Hussein of Jordan was a Muslim. And Bill Clinton of the United States was said to be a Christian. But they all were fraternal brothers and Masons and Illuminati, shouldn't we say? Well, today's front page put up by my good friend John Brella had this picture. And of course, this was in all of the newspapers, on, on television. There were the, the, the secret, excuse me, the uh, agreement that was signed that this talks about. These three Freemasons meeting. You see... Prime Minister Rabin uh, on this side here. Here's uh, Prime Minister Rabin on this side. In the middle, President Clinton. And on the other side, we have the King of Jordan, Hussein. Now, fascinating as it is, Prime Minister Rabin was assassinated, the Prime Minister of Israel, and the King of Jordan, Hussein, died of cancer since this picture was taken just a few short years ago. Clinton, of course, still seems to be in his heyday, and his wife uh, fully intends to run for president very soon. But in any case, here we have these three Masons. Now, I'd like you to look very carefully. You can't really maybe uh, get a close-up, but I wish you could, because if you saw the position of their hands, here I have another picture. It might be a little bit better from another uh, newspaper. And if you look very close, you will see a Masonic handshake between Hussein and Rabin. A Masonic handshake. Oh yes, they are fraternal brothers, according to the Masonic organization. By the way, here they are. This is from U.S. News and World Report. And here they are signing the peace agreement. How happy they were. It seemed to flop and fall apart, though, because, as you know, the bloodshed and fighting went on and on. Here's a picture in memoriam to Prime Minister Rabin right after he was assassinated in 1995, which goes to show there is no honor among thieves. And uh, some of the more rigid among the Jews are not happy with what even the Masons are doing. Uh, and it's uh, highly believed in Israel today that the secret uh, a spy agency, Shin Bet, uh, saw to the murder of Yitzhak Rabin.